This video serves as a guide to adding the 6349 dynamic brake pendant to AC models of strong arm electric winches that didn't initially come with one. Be sure your winch is unplugged and then you'll need to remove its cover. On clutch models, loosen the levers two screws with a number one Phillips screwdriver, then remove the handle and its screws from your winch's cover. On all AC models, Use a 3 8 inch wrench to remove all four bolts from the corners of the cover. Lift the cover off of the winch, then slip the green, white, and black motor wires out of the frame clip on the gear side of the winch. Use a pair of pliers to separate the connectors on the green wires, then unplug all four blue and pink connectors from your winch's switch, using a flathead screwdriver to help pry them off if needed. Remove the short white and black wires from the bridge and discard them. The bridge area of your winch should now look like this. And your winch's switch will no longer be functional, but you should leave it in its position. Your next step is to drill a hole in your winch's cover. If you have an SA5000 or 7000, your hole location should be in the top right corner of the cover. On SA 9000s and 12000s, it should be in the lower right corner. Be careful that drilling a hole in your chosen location will not damage your winch's bridge. You need to end up with a 21 30 seconds inch hole, but we recommend drilling a smaller hole to start, and then expanding it to 21 30 seconds inch. Ensure that the bridge has not been damaged, then feed through the hole you just drilled all four connectors from the end of the 6349 remote cord. Before you rewire your winch, find the chamfered corner of its bridge. Press the black remote cord onto the bridge plug opposite of the chamfered corner, and the white remote cord onto the bridge plug right next to the chamfered corner. With your bridge fully rewired, firmly connect the green motor cord to the green power cord, the black motor cord to the green remote cord, and the white motor cord to the red remote cord. Your winch should now be completely rewired. Place the strain relief bushing that came with the 6349 remote near the end of the remote cord, then use a standard pair of pliers to compress and insert it into the hole you drilled. Slip the green, white, and black motor wires back into the frame clip on the clutch side of your winch. Hold open the front of the cover as you place it over your winch. Take care to ensure that you press the three motor wires into the far corner of the cover as far away from any gears as possible when you reinstall the cover. If they are hit by the gears that spin with normal winch operation, you will have a serious electrical problem to deal with. Next, use your 3 8 inch wrench to tighten the two long cover screws on the clutch side of the winch and the two short cover screws on the opposite side. On clutch models, line up the biggest hole on the clutch handle and the biggest hole on the clutch lever before pressing the handle onto the lever, then tighten both of the handle screws. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of this video and be sure to let us know what topic or product you'd like us to cover next.